I'm on the dance floor and I don't give a fuck I'ma take that dick, I'ma take it in my butt I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock Yeah, I know this queen, I just won't stop I'm not Karen, but I get super head I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a nasty bitch Come on, me boys, this, that, a dick Oh, we're recording, I'm sorry Bitch, you wouldn't tell me, bitch. Don't get cute, Sister Patterson, bitch. Don't get cute because the camera's on, bitch. Don't get cute, bitch. And fix your big girl. Hey, everybody. It's Bimbo Winehouse and the lovely Sister Patterson. Welcome to the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show. Walker, Walker, M. Yeah. Is the camera good? Is the camera good? Okay, we good. Why, is we, why do we look grateful? Hold on, boy. I'm sorry. Once we get a show, you ain't got to worry about this, because I ain't got to do none of this, honey. All right, it should be good now. We still look green. Oh, God, I can't take this. Whatever. It is what it is. Listen, um, we look green. We, we're not green. Why do we look green for sister? Hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Um, um, give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm so not prepared. One second, you will. Okay, listen, listen, listen. So, you know, you all can, like, email me. If you have, like, any uh, suggestions, you have any advice, you want to tell me anything, email me at bimbowinehouse at yahoo.com. So, I got an email from someone, and they asked me about B. Scott's. Love B. Scott's. Love Muppets. Um, basically, this is what the person said. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. Basically, um, I deleted the email. They said B. Scott is hosting a party. Um, B. Scott's seduction tomorrow at um, Club Secrets in New York City. So they said, Bimba, are you going? I know you don't like B. Scott. Uh, are you going to the event? Let me just say something. I don't have a problem with B. Scott. And, you know, the crazy thing about it is he's not the first person that asked me. I truly do not have a problem with B. Scott. I may say some things about him, but that's just all in competition. And don't say I'm no competition for B. Scott, whatever. I don't care. No, it's just all in competition, but... I don't have a problem with B. Scott. I really don't. My, I'm lying. I, you know, I watch some of his videos, and B. Scott does come off as a little self-centered. I'll admit that. He comes off as, it's his world, it's all about him, nothing else matters, but him is love muffins. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, because at the end of the day, I feel as if nothing else matters but me and you guys who support me and watch me. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm not always... Oh, look at me. I'm sexy. Look at my mouth. Look at my nose. I look better than you. Like, <laughs> I mean, whatever. Listen, um, I don't have a problem with B. Scott. I really don't. Um, the best of luck. B. Scott is doing it. And I always on Twitter show mad love to B. Scott. He never shows the love back, but I understand. That's what the diva is about. You know what I mean? It's enough room for all of us. All of us. But I do have a problem with this motherfucking B E T one eight one whatever the fuck it Brian B whatever the fuck his name is but I'm not gonna get into that that's another motherfucking story. Mm. Also have another problem with another bitch on YouTube but I'm not gonna even mention that bitch because I don't think none of y'all know that child so she's not even worth mentioning. I just hate when you know you work so long to you know find your own niche and then. Bitches want to come and follow you. Similar to like Little Kim and Nicki Minaj. Little Kim took a little while to find what she wanted to do. She finally did it. Then this next bitch want to come on and try to recreate her whole style. Bitch, find your own motherfucking lane. But that's not what this video is about. I got love for everybody. If, if you feel like copying someone else is what's going to get you there, more so be it. Okay, but trust me, Bimbo Wanhouse is gonna make it, okay? I'm not copying no motherfucking body. Only person you sometimes may see me do a little is Wendy Williams, but you can clearly see the difference between me and Wendy, okay? You can never say I'm every minute, how you doing, how you doing, that's not me. That is Wendy shit, so I'm not gonna come up here every two minutes and say, how you doing, how you doing, how you doing? Bitch, find your own shit. Create your own motherfucking lane, bitch. 
I'm sorry, I'm getting a little Cause it kills me, like, I don't have a problem with B. Scott More love to him, shout out to Mecca Shout out to you all and you know what? I'm going to show up at the event tomorrow. B. Scott is hosting a party at Club Secrets on 29th in the city. And Bimbo Winehouse will be in the building. If we speak, we speak. If we don't, we don't. But it, just know it's love. And shout out to B. Scott. You're doing your thing. And yes, I'm watching. And I'm trying to follow in your footsteps. But even messier. All right. Um... So I just wanted to address that real quick. So shout out to everybody who's going to be in the building. Show B. Scott love. Show me love. I show you love. Show this person love. We all win. Ain't nobody better than no motherfucking body. We are all equal. Okay? Just because, um, ain't no just because nothing. I don't give a fuck. I don't care where you from, what you're doing. No one is better than no motherfucking body. Just know we all won. At the end of the day, just as quick as you got your shit, God will take it away. So, you know... I just wanted to address, I don't have a problem with B. Scott. B. Scott is the man, the woman, whatever he want to be. I love muffins. So moving on, like I said, you all can email me at bimbowinehouse at yahoo.com if you have some type of whatever you want to say to me. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry, Sister Pattis. I just had to get that off my chest. Oh, uh -huh. Walker, walker, in. Yeah. I had another email from someone who asked me about my confidence and they said they said bimbo how do you come on a camera and just be yourself and not care basically i know what they were trying to get at how i just come on and just let myself to the world simply i don't give a fuck five words i don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck about you, I don't give a fuck about them, I don't give a fuck. Meaning, I don't care what they think about me, I'm talking about as far as negative people. If you're going to show me love, I'm going to show you love back. But all that negative shit, I don't give a fuck about You have one life to live, you have to live your life for you. You cannot live your life for no motherfucking body else but you. So the shit that you want to put off, that shit makes you happy, you feel sexy in it, wear the shit. If you feel like a lipstick that you, whatever, if you feel like being fat is sexy, be fat. If you feel like being skinny, whatever the case may be, do you love you, don't give a fuck about nobody else but you. That's where I get my confidence, my confidence from. That's exactly where I get it from. I just stop giving a fuck. I find shit that I love to wear and people hate on it. But you know what? What kills me is that shit I wear, it makes other people more mad than me. Like, the way I live my lifestyle and the way I live my life, other folks are upset, but yet and still, it's my life. And people who are like me, who are just real, because it's not, like, I'm one in a million. Sister Patterson, I'm one in a million. Like, it's, you will never, it's hard to come across a real person. Like, I let you know when I shit. I let you know when I fart. Because you know when people fart, oh, who farted? That, that bitch, you know you was the one that farted, bitch. I would let a bitch know it was me. What? And it smells like eggs, right? Walker, walker, and I don't give a fuck, bitch. You just have to be real with yourself. Like, you just cannot give a fuck. And when people make jokes on you, like, I'm always by myself. Anyone that knows me knows I rose dolo. I can't be around people because, you know, I have a lot of confidence. But if I see a bitch looking at me wrong, it's going to be an issue. I don't, give a I don't give a fuck if you're a friend or not. If I feel like it's some type of tension, I will cut you off, bitch, for life. And I cut a few people off. It's, it's been people I had with me for since day one. Where they at? Over there, bitch. I've done moved on, bitch. If I have to be by myself, oh my god, where am I going? All right, listen. Just be confident, and don't get me wrong. I was like a little insecure for a minute, but it was three bitches that I looked at, and they made me. They made me not give a fuck. I'm gonna name these three bitches: Dwight from The Real Housewives, Dario P from um, Keisha Cole, whatever. Look, everything for everybody. And this other bitch, her, I don't know her name, but her, 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 him, her, whatever. Them three bitches are ugly. I'm sorry, you three bitches. Uh, A, E, alibi, you ain't got no alibi because you ugly. But, a bitch, I'm be honest, I don't give a fuck, but you ugly, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, they ugly. They just ugly. Them some, uh, look at these bitches are ugly. Them some ugly bitches, but... <laughs> Yo, this is why nobody likes me. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm just real. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The bitches are ugly. I don't give a fuck what y'all said. But it's the way their confidence. It's the way they deliver their self that makes people want them. Their confidence and just, oh. Like, the white, he's just, oh, oh, whatever. 
Get confidence. I don't give a look. Moving on. Shout out to them three bitches. Them, uh, I look at them three bitches as inspiration. Them bitches don't give a fuck about their looks. They just go out there and do it, honey. That's where my confidence come from. I'm just being honest with you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. They don't like me or not. I'm just being my fucking honest, bitch. And Darielle, I still fuck you. I will still, and I will still fuck B. Scott. What? I will fuck both. What? We have a threesome. Three big old queens. <laughs> Up in a bag. <laughs> but I'll be the top, though. Okay, last. <laughs> Bimble One House Addiction Show is so messy. And last but not least, Sister Patterson. I have another email that I found kinda. This person know what I like, okay? Because I get a lot of emails, but y'all motherfucking emails be boring. You know me, I am messy. Make the emails messy, even if it's just something like, Bimbo, I have a man. I don't know if he's cheating on me. Say something like, Bimbo, I think my man's sucking a dick, bitch. I will read your email, bitch. I like live shit. This is not a boring show. So this email right here, this is for the show, baby. You all ready, honey? My name is... No, he goes, hi, Bimbo. My name is... He didn't give a name, so I'm going to give him a name. I'm going to call him Neo. Ew! So listen, he said, and I wanted to know your opinion. Um, Look, the email was mad long, but I had to, like, shorten it up, okay? Because this YouTube shit give you, like, five minutes. So, you know, hopefully once I get... Anyway, um, listen, listen. So he goes, um, Neo, I had sex a week ago with a dude. And I'm a bottom. Yeah, Neo's a bottom. And, um, Neo said, Bimbo, after the dude nutted inside me, he pulled out. Okay? Er, er, er. Pulls out. Okay. And... <laughs> I'm reading because I know... He said, he said the condom had doo-doo all over it. Yes, it's the Patterson bitch. He said, not a little bit of doodle, -doo, but the sh but it had a shitload. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't. It's been a week, and dude have yet to call me back. My question is, am I nasty, and do you think dude will ever call me back? Sister Patterson, please finish this. I can't. Since everybody this is down, Sister Patterson, show. I can't. I can't. I can't. Sister Patterson, go, bitch. So say what you want. You nasty ass motherfucking bottom shitting on motherfucking dicks, bitch. You nasty bitch. You need to go fucking clean your motherfucking ass, bitch. If it was me, bitch, I won't be shitting on a motherfucking dick. Bitch, calm down, bitch. Calm down, go, bitch. I mean, damn, she just went the fuck off. That's fine. Right. Wow. For y'all who say she don't talk, the bitch just talks. Walk a walk a and that. Listen. Listen here, you nasty ass dirty bottom. And I'm just gonna call it how I see it. You nasty bitch. Listen. If I was the top fucking you, and I pulled out, and this right here had all type of shit on it, I will motherfucking open up your motherfucking and put this condom down your motherfucking mouth. That was wrong with you, you nasty ass bottom. That's the problem. A lot of you motherfucking thugs, because I don't know if you a thug or if you some feminine bottom. I don't know, but I notice with a lot of feminine bottoms, them motherfuckers know how to clean their motherfucking ass, okay? They know how to get up in that shit, so when they do get fucked, when the guys pull out, the comments smell like roses. You nasty ass dog niggas who wanna have bitches and shit. When you get fucked, you pull out your shit, smell like shit. Clean your motherfucking ass. If you on a little down low, not saying you are on a down low, but clean your motherfucking ass. Go to Path Marks and get some, some preparation H or Tums or whatever the fuck they use to clean their ass and clean your ass. That is nasty. That is so nasty. Getting And you pulled out and... Don't get me wrong. Most gay men who are tops... Once in a while, once in your lifetime, you're going to have a bottom that's going to shit on your dick, okay? But this sounds as if you took a shit. Like, you literally took a shit on his dick. He pulled the, ugh. Just nasty. That is so disgusting. I mean, wow. But thank you for the email. It was great for the show. But wow. And honestly, you asked, do you think the dude will call you back? It's been a week. Honey, I don't think he's going to call you back. If he does, just, all right, if he does call you back. You don't mention nothing about that situation. You let him fuck you again if he does, and you make sure that booty hole is clean, okay? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to come prepared, honey. <laughs> Yo, you are that kid. Anyway, this is Member Wanhouse. Shout out to B. Scott. Shout out to, um, you know, 
everybody, like I said, I'm going to be in the building tomorrow at Secrets and... It's all love. Anyway, don't forget, if you have an email for me, email me at bimbowinehouse at yahoo.com. Shout out to all you shitty bottoms. <laughs> you will not shit on a... Uh-uh.